With AutoCAD LT 2013 for Mac, you get powerhouse drafting tools on the Mac, making it easier than ever to document and share designs on your platform of choice. AutoCAD LT 2013 for Mac wasn't just ported from the Windows version, it was completely rewritten from the ground up with the Mac user in mind every step of the way. But we also wanted to make it very familiar to those of you who used AutoCAD LT on the Windows platform. When you launch AutoCAD LT for Mac, you'll see four main user interface elements. There's the drawing window, tool sets, status bar, and the menu bar. If you go to the window pull-down in the menu bar, you can find other familiar windows and palettes like properties, layers, and the command line. Many of these, especially the drawing window and status bar, are practically identical to their windows counterparts. Others, like the layer palette and properties inspector, have similar functions laid out in a slightly different way. You'll probably notice, though, that AutoCAD LT for Mac doesn't have a ribbon. Instead, it uses the menu bar, tool sets, and context-sensitive visors like this one for hatch objects. AutoCAD LT for Mac also includes the dynamic help search function common to many Mac programs. Simply hover over an item in the list of search results to see its location in the menu bar. If you're using a magic mouse or trackpad, you'll be glad to know that multi-touch gestures are supported in AutoCAD LT for Mac. Use a two-finger pinch to zoom in and out of your drawing, or a two-finger swipe to pan. Despite its unique code base, AutoCAD LT for Mac is still an integrated part of the AutoCAD family. The DWG files it creates are fully compatible with AutoCAD LT 2013, as well as with other products like AutoCAD, AutoCAD WS, and industry-specific software like AutoCAD Architecture.